In this video clip, we will demonstrate how you can use the Reaction Editor Species Group functionality to auto-complete reactions. To demonstrate this, we will add these reactions to an autoclave in Syscade. As you can see, they all require sulfuric acid as a reagent and also have water as one of these products. So if we have a species group that contains sulfuric acid and water, we can then use this group to auto-complete the reactions. To show you how to do it, we'll go to Syscade. And if I right click on the autoclave and I'll go and add a reactions to this unit, so I'll turn on the reactions. I'll go to the RB tab and I'll now just say edit RCT. The reaction editor will open. And I'll now go and say add a reaction. So the first reaction that we want to add is going to be nickel oxide to nickel sulfate. So on the filter, I'm going to type in Ni for nickel, so that I only see the nickel species. And I'll drag the nickel oxide to the left, and the nickel sulfate to the right-hand side. Now if I click on Balance, you'll see I already have a group in the autobalancer, Organic, which contains RH and H2SO4. I have another group called Combustion, which is containing oxygen, carbon dioxide, and steam. And now I want to add this third group with acid, which will have sulfuric acid and water. So all I have to do is start typing in the name of my group, and it will replace this name that's already there. So if I make sure that's highlighted, and I'll call it acid. And now the species that I want in are not going to be these, so I'll delete those, highlight them, and click on delete. And now just start typing in the names of the species that I do want, which is h 2 S04, and I see it's there, it's got order completed, so if I double click on that, it'll add the sulfuric acid to my group, put a comma, and now I want it to be water, so H2O, and these are case sensitive, so make sure that you do use the right case. In this case, I want H2O liquid, so I'll double click on that, and those are the species that I want in my acid group, so now I'll just say OK. And you'll see in the reaction editor, it's added the sulfuric acid to the left, and it's added the water to the right, and it hence it's balanced the reaction for me. I didn't have to add those two species. So now I can say OK. And that reaction is complete. I'll go and add another reaction to show you how you do it once you've already set up the species group. So I'll say add reaction. And this time, we want to add the reaction copper. So I'll put the filter on for Cu, copper. I'll grab the copper oxide to the reagent side, copper sulfate to the products. And now when I click on balance, you'll see there's my group acid with sulfuric acid and water. If I just say OK, then what happens is Syscade automatically looks and adds those species where they need to be, and it's done that balancing for you. So this means you don't have to type in those species anymore. I'll do one more reaction, and this time with iron. So I'll say add a reaction. And change my filter instead of copper to iron, Fe. And type Fe203, the hematite. It's going to react to form ferric sulfate. See? If I click on the balance, and I'll use the acid group again, H2SO4, H2, click OK. And you'll see it's now added three sulfurics on the left and three waters on the right. So it's done all that balancing for you and added those species. And once you've added a species group to your reaction editor, that will be there and it will be available to all of your projects. It's basically a computer-based group. It certainly does make adding and completing reactions much quicker if you use this functionality.